Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at four new composite elements that have just been introduced to our composite elements library. If you're not already familiar with the composite elements library, it's a collection of elements built by our team, most of them using some more advanced code, but when you import the elements, all the individual parts are editable. So a lot of them offer really nice functionality out of the gate, but the code is also exposed via code blocks and things like that to allow you to customize and edit them to meet your needs. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is the dynamic image accordion. Let's scroll down on our homepage and find a good place to put it. Let's just drop it here in the showcase section in place of this element here with all these images. We'll drop that out and then we'll click add and we're gonna search for image accordion. And there it is, let's drop it in. And you can see immediately it's populated with images and text because this is set up to be dynamic. That means if you don't have any posts on your site with featured images, it might look a little wonky when you import it, but make sure you have some posts and then you can go ahead and see the result as soon as you drop it in. So let's save this and take a look on the front end to show you kind of how this works. So let's scroll down to where we drop that in. And the dynamic image accordion allows you to have this kind of main feature image and then these other images that are kind of collapsed down. But when you click one of the images, they smoothly expand out and you can see the link to the post there. Again, this is dynamic. So this is built using our repeater element. And if you wanna show something besides posts or you wanna change the query in some way, you just select the repeater that's imported when you drop the image accordion element in and you go to query and you can stay on advanced and you can edit the query here to change the parameters or you could choose another query type if you want to. You can also select all the individual parts and pieces of this to adjust the styling and change the layout and things like that. Now that's the dynamic image accordion. There's another element we're introducing that actually works perfectly in this same exact spot. So let's get rid of this element and let's go ahead and drop in the video playlist. So this might look familiar if you've been on the Oxygen site and taken a look at some of our tutorials. We're gonna drop in this video playlist element and you can see right here, we've got a list of videos. It's a scrollable list with play and pause buttons. Now these are hidden and shown using conditions and they must be visible on the back end for you to be able to edit them. But on the front end, they will not be visible and the layout looks a little bit nicer. So let's save that and jump up to the front end and take a look. And as you can see here, we have this nice video playlist. It starts with the first video and then it goes on down to whatever videos you decide to list. Now, if we click one of these, you can see the icon changes and the video is loaded. The upside to this element is that it's not loading all of these YouTube iframes right out of the gate. It's actually using a single iframe and just changing the source when you click different links. So it's gonna be much more performant than just listing a bunch of different videos in, for instance, tabs or something like that. So this is essentially only loading a single video at first. Now to change the videos, you just go in here and you find your link wrapper, which is called a list item here, and you just change the URL here. Now this currently only works with YouTube videos, so if you need Vimeo, you could probably adjust the code to make it work, but for now this is shipping with just YouTube support. The other thing you can do with this is if you just pay attention to the classes that are used on these link wrappers and the icons and the titles, you could totally replace this video list with a repeater and have this whole thing be dynamic. The reason it's not shipping as a dynamic element is because we have to pull the YouTube URLs from somewhere and there's no way to tell where you will store those since there's not a default place in WordPress to do that. So it's not difficult at all to switch this to be a dynamic element if that's something you need for your site. Now let's get rid of our video playlist element and let's take a look at the next one which is a logo slider. So we're going to search for logo slider and drop that in. Now this is an infinite logo slider using only CSS. There's no JavaScript here. If we look at the element that was imported, we have two slides and some code. If we look at the code, absolutely no JavaScript. It's all in the CSS using CSS animations. 
So the way this works is this first logo slide, this top set of oxygen logos, is the one that's initially going to be visible and start scrolling across the screen. The second one follows that one. Then as soon as the first one's off the screen, it pops back over, which creates an infinite loop. So let's go ahead and jump up to the front end and take a look at what that looks like. As you can see, it starts scrolling across and it's gonna continue until it's filled the screen and then it's gonna go ahead and shove off to the left and then the next slide will come in and this will just infinitely scroll. Each of these oxygen logos is just an image element so you just click them in the builder and change the images to whatever logos you want. And the nice thing about this being CSS only is that there's really no negative performance impact except for the loading of the images themselves. So you're not adding a bunch of JavaScript that doesn't need to be there for a functionality that can be done with CSS only. So this is a really nice clean element and something that a lot of sites tend to need these days, especially if you're selling software or something where you wanna showcase the clients that have used your uh, solution or product. So that is the CSS logo slider. So let's jump back into the WordPress admin panel. And for this last one, I need to go to a different page. So we're gonna go back here and go to pages and we're gonna find a page that is nested. So this one, uh, the about me page is a child of the meet, the team page, which is a child of the about us page. So let's go ahead and jump into oxygen. And now that we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and drop in a new div right up here at the top. Let's drag that up there. And then we're gonna drop in an element called breadcrumb. Now this is probably what you would expect. It shows a breadcrumb trail to the current page. This is actually the same element that we use on our documentation on the official Oxygen site. And it lets you get these breadcrumbs without adding a whole other plugin, which previously, before we built this element, we were using a whole nother plugin just for breadcrumbs on the Oxygen site. And that's really not ideal when it's a fairly simple bit of functionality. So let's go ahead and add some padding to this uh, div here, especially on the left-hand side. And then we can save and jump to the front end and check out how this works once the uh, breadcrumbs are generated. So you can see here we've got blog, which is gonna go to the root of your site. We've got about us, which is the grandparent page of the current page. We've got meet the team, which is the parent page, and then about me, which is the current page you're on. Now this is configurable, but it requires editing the code directly. Now we've set this up to hopefully be fairly easy with instructions and examples here. So we can change the delimiter, which is the two little arrows between each item. We can change it from showing the root to not showing the root link. We can change the root link destination itself and we can change the root title. So if your site's not a blog, you might change this to home. We can also disable links on individual items in the breadcrumb list. So if we wanted to disable the about about us link, we could just pass in a zero. If we wanted to disable both the about us and the meet the team links, we could pass in a zero and a one. It's just a comma separated list because it is an array. So if we have that configured, we can jump up here and see that now these are no longer links. There may be some cases where you want to do that, but for most cases, you're gonna wanna leave that alone. Now let's change the root title to home. And then let's change the delimiter to just a dash and we'll see what that looks like here on the front end. So let's jump up here and refresh. And now we see home with dashes instead of arrows. So as you can see, it's very simple. It just runs off a bit of PHP here, which can all be edited if you want something specific for your use case. If we look at CSS, there's very little. And if we look at JavaScript, there's none. So it's pretty much all PHP for this element. But again, this simple element helps you avoid a whole extra plugin which could be doing a bunch of stuff that you don't know about that could impact performance and security and things like that. Whereas this, all the code is completely exposed to you via the code block that's included with the element. 
So there are no question marks about what this is doing and it's only doing exactly what it needs to do. So ideally you would drop this breadcrumb element into your main template so that it could be displayed on all your pages and give people an easy way to navigate between the hierarchies on your site. This is ideal for things like our documentation where we have nested sections. So we're in composite elements. We wanna look at builder elements. We drop back, pick one of these, and you can see the breadcrumbs are in the template. So they're always present and they always show our path back to the root, which is documentation. So that covers our new composite elements, the dynamic image accordion element, the video playlist, the CSS only logo slider, and the breadcrumb element. I hope you find these useful and they're available for use now for anyone that has access to the composite elements library. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and thank you very much for watching.